Hello friends, this presentation is about the conditional statement in Java. This topic is taken from class 10th book, Computer Application. And this presentation is taken from chapter number 1, unit 7. It consists of the following topic, if, if else, if else if, nested if, and the last one is switch statement. What is the learning scope of this presentation? Java control statements, that is, what are the control statements of Java? It further divided into three parts, conditional control statements, number two, break and continue statement, and number three is looping iterative control statement. In the first part, we'll understand conditional control statements, and we will discuss about if else statement and switch case. Remaining two we will discuss in the next presentation. Before we start programming, let us understand the important terms. What is a program? Program is a set of statement. A computer program is designed as a set of valid statement designed to perform a specific operation. Program is divided into three parts. That is program construct is divided into three parts. Number one sequence. Number two selection. Number three iteration. In sequence, the program start execution from top to bottom. In selection, one of the part of the program will be executed which satisfies the condition. And iteration that is consists of loop. We have three statements for that looping that is while, do while and for loop. Difference between sequence and selection. Sequence, in sequence statements are executed one after another. It is also called a normal flow of control. Suppose a program consists of five lines, it starts executing the program from line 1 up to line 5. Selection statement. What is selection statement? A set of statement that is grouped together is called a block. But in selection control statement, the control is transferred to any blocks depending upon the condition. That means, for example, we are using if. If contain two blocks and if the condition is true, the block 1 will be executed, otherwise the second block will be executed. Let us understand what is if statement. If statement is used to check one or more than one condition. First we see the syntax of this statement. If condition start of curly brace, set of statements end of curly brace. Other part of this slide shows the example of if statement int i is equal to 10 that is initial value of i is 10 if i is less than 15 system dot out will print ln high the program will show the output high as the value of i is less than 15 the initial value of i is 10 and 10 is less than 15 so the output is high in the previous slide we understand that if the condition is true, the block of if statement will execute and if the condition is false, nothing is displayed on the screen. So we are taking the next part that is the next statement of if that is if else statement. To check the condition, if the condition is true, the control execute all the statement given under if. Otherwise the statement under else will be executed. Here is a syntax if condition set of statements else set of statements that means if the condition is true the true part will be executed and if the condition is false the else part will be executed here is one example int i is equal to 18 if i is less than 9 system dot outward print ln high will be printed otherwise system dot outward print ln y will be printed output is by as the value of i is 18 which is more than 9 if the value of i is 7, we know 7 is less than 9. So the true part that is high will be displayed on the screen. Since the value of i is 18 and 18 is less than 9, no. So the else part will be executed. That is, it will show by on the screen. The next part of this presentation is if else if. It is also known as letter. It is used to check series of conditions where one condition execute and if all the conditions are false 
then the last else statement runs let us understand by one example i is equal to 15 if i equals to 10 system dot out on print ln hi else if i is equal to 15 system dot out on print ln hi 15 else system dot out on print ln by in this example we understand that if the value of i is 10 no it is not 10 so hi will not be printed next condition is if i is equal to 15 yes i is 15 the value of i is 15 it will print hi 15 else part will not being executed but if the value of i is 12 then the else part will be executed because the first two conditions are not satisfied if the i value is 12 it will show you by on the screen nested if when if statement is used within another if the construct is said to be nested if statement that means if once if statement is used in between that if statement another if is used that is called nested if let us understand by one example int i is equal to 5 if i is equal to 5 and if j is equal to 2 it will print high otherwise it will print by in this program we understand the value of i is 5 if this condition is true then it will go to the nested if that is to check the value of j if the value of i is 5 and j equals to 2 it will print high otherwise it will print by that means if the value of i is 5 but the j value is 3 it will not print high rather it will print by system dot exit it is a function this function is used to terminate the execution at any instance of the program when the function is invoked it terminates the execution ignoring the rest of the statements of the program let us take one example to understand what is system dot exit take the value of n and is equal to in dot next int if n is less than 0 system dot out dot print ln negative number program terminates with the statement system dot exit and the next part of the program is sqrt is equal to method sqrt n system dot out dot print ln square root plus sqt what is the execution of this program if user enter the value of n less than 0 program will not find the square root of the number because the square root of negative number is not possible and the program terminates if user enter the value more than n that is more than 0 it will find the square root of the number and display the square root of the number then it will not execute system.exit command system.exit command is only executed if the value of n is less than 0 the next control statement is switch statement switch statement is used to take input from the user and depending upon the input enters by the user it execute the particular set of statements let us take the syntax switch control variable or expression case value statements break case value statement break default statement let us understand by the syntax user will enter any value of control variable if the condition satisfied in case 1 the statement 1 will be executed and the program terminates by break statement suppose the control value is not the case 1 it is case 2 the second part of the part program will be executed and the program terminates if no condition is satisfied the control transfer to default statement and display the statement which is given in default let us understand switch case with example switch a case 1 System dot out on print ln add the number break. Case 2. System dot out dot print ln subtract the number break. Default. System dot out dot print ln wrong choice. Here a is a control variable. If the value of control variable a is 1, case 1 will be executed. That means computer shows add the number on the screen and switch case terminates. Suppose the value of a is 2, case 2 will be executed, computer shows subtract the number and the 
switch is terminates with break statement suppose user enter not 1 not 2 rather any other number for example 0 3 4 5 then default part of this statement will be executed that is computer shows wrong choice and the program terminates some important terms regarding this presentation number one control variable the variable or the argument passed in switch decide which case is to be executed that is called control variable switch day day is a control variable next is break statement to terminate the case pick is used as break is encounter the control come out of the switch case number three is default case if no case is matched the control transfer to default but default case is optional fall through missing break statement control goes to the next case it is called fall through so these are the important terms which are used while using switch case at the end of this presentation let us find the difference between if and switch if if can check the condition for equal not equal to less than less than equal to that is all the relational or logical operators whereas switch can check only equality no logical and relational operators are allowed number two can have multiple condition that means in if conditions we can check more than one condition but in switch case we can check only one condition at a time in if it can check the condition on any type of data but in switch case we check such type of data such as int short long byte and care further in if case if may contain break statement but in switch break statement is must that is the switch must contain a break statement with every case otherwise it generate fall through thank you